ओके सो नाउ कोई भी शुभ काम फैमिली के बिना नहीं होता है सो माई मम एंड सिस्टर आर हियर विथ मी टूडे दी ओरिजिनल राइटर्स इन द फैमिली तो मामा तन्ना प्लीज कम हाँ राहा इज स्लीपिंग शी इज ऑलरेडी रेड द बुक हाँ शी इज डेफिनेटली इन्फ्लुएंस बार ऑफ इट शुड बी सिट हियर Okay, so we're going to do a little reading. Feeling a little nervous. You start. Okay. Can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? It was a bright and sunny Sunday morning, just like today. a time to play football a time to eat ice cream a time to be happy but not everyone was happy or so thought the crow as he flew over the beach there was a little dog on the beach he was sitting next to some boxes bottles and torn wrapping paper he looked frightened he looked hungry and he looked very lonely There was a small brown house near the beach and in the house lived a little girl. She looked troubled, she looked worried and she too looked very very lonely. It was a busy beach. People were playing, eating, walking and talking. A woman came up to the little dog. "Are you lost? Are you hungry?" she asked kindly. "Please take me home," cried the dog. But the woman only heard "woof woof woof." She patted the little dog and left. Things were busy in the small brown house too. The mother was working, the father was cooking, and the little girl was quietly listening. For she could hear a jumble of voices outside the window. Whispering, grumbling, mumbling. But who was talking? There was no one around. Just the birds. and the trees please stop cried the little girl but the voices did not stop instead she heard a bossy voice say loudly go to the beach there is someone who needs your help the girl jumped she looked around all she saw was a crow and crows don't talk and then she wondered who needs my help so she quickly ran towards the beach at the beach she saw some boxes some bottles torn wrapping paper and a dog the most beautiful dog in the whole wide world he was brown and white with eyes like molten chocolate why are you all alone little dog asked the girl the little dog said nothing he had talked all day but nobody listened tired and sad he closed his eyes When he opened his eyes the little girl was still there Do you need help she asked The dog decided to try one last time Nobody wants me he said I have nowhere to go The little girl was shocked Who said that she asked looking here and there There was no one around only the dog and dogs don't talk Who said that the little girl asked again I did said the little dog but dogs can't talk said the little girl of course we can exclaimed the little dog people just don't know how to listen okay i'm going to stop right here because then nobody's going to buy the book and then you'll have to buy the book to understand what happened after that but this is the story about how ed finds a home and that is our lead <laughs> hero and heroine ed and the little girl whose name is alia in this book but actually her name is mama 
Okay, what do you all think of the book? It's I just read a bit, couple of pages. You like it? So you basically understood that this girl has a superpower, and she can talk to animals. Have any of you ever felt that you can talk to animals? You can. Woof woof woof. You talk like an animal, but have you talked to an animal? Like when a dog talks to you, do you feel like he's talking to you? Right? You have a dog at home. How many of you have dogs at home? Okay, how many of you? That's a stupid question. I know, so do I. Um, how many of you love dogs? How many of you love cats? Wow, I'm so happy. You have a cat? You're a great human being. Um, you have a kitten? Lovely. How many of you love animals? How many of you love nature? Okay, that's great. It's lovely. I think uh, you all will love the book. And uh, this is just the beginning, as I said. Thank you so much for coming out here. And uh, please buy the book. Otherwise, um, it'll get uh, my dress and all was really wasted to come all the way here. Uh, there's a Ed Mama pop up. Uh, you will find some clothes as well. Um, I, uh, yeah, that's it. Anything else? Do I have to do anything else? Yeah. Okay. So we've got a little tree at the Ed Mama pop up. And um, you can put your planet pledge. The planet pledge means what you will, your pledge to do something better for your planet. I put my pledge already. Um, and um, have a great time. Otherwise, you're having a good time. You're happy. I know it's hot, um, but you're all happy. Alia, may I ask you a question? Yeah, you may. Do you have a dog? Yes, I do have a dog. Did your dog say anything to you this morning before you came here? Uh, in dog language, he didn't say much. He just looked at me. He was a bit sleepy. Oh. Um, but I know he wishes me well. Oh. <laughs> right. My cat spoke to me in the morning, I think. Yeah. Uh, the, the book is available at Penguin Random House, right opposite. I think we have some signed copies too. Uh, I've signed a lot of copies over the last couple of weeks. I was signing about three hours a day. Uh, so, please take a signed copy home. <laughs> <laughs> buy a signed copy. Yeah, please buy a signed copy. Thank you so all much right. for coming. Thank you for my lovely present. Thank you for my cake. And thank you all for being here. And please keep reading, keep learning, keep growing, and um, uh, just and telling stories and reading stories and Be being nice the wonderful the people planet. that you are. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait.